hey guys so welcome to today's video so ever since the asus 60 got the latest android 11 update many of you have been asking me to make a video about it so here it is as you can see that this is my asus 60 and this is the silver color okay now let me show you okay now if we click here and check the system about phone here you can see that it's the latest android 11 it's running the latest android 11 oh i don't know okay see you can see this okay so let's talk about the changes okay so the first change is in the calculator app see the interface has changed the interface of the app has changed and if you click here and go to settings then there is an option of floating calculator if you press this you can see that this calculator app has been moved here if you i don't know if you can see it properly like let me open some app and here you can see this floating blue bubble it's of the floating calculator app if you press on it see this kind of floating calculator app will be opened and you can use the calculator from here if you press it anywhere this app will go back see like if you're doing something or you're watching or youtube or you're surfing some website you're doing anything you just need to click here and the app will be ready for use okay if you want to sh shut this off then you can just open calculator click on the three dots go to settings and turn this off i think this will be a handy feature for those who use it okay okay the next change is this power drop down menu like this this here you can see if you want to change this then you have to open settings choose display and then go to system bars and click on this quick settings layout see if you press on the classic then this will be simple like we used to have earlier and if you click on one handed then you see you will get this okay i think this looks pretty cool okay so the next change we have is in the power menu style like this if you press and hold the power button see we get new options like this emergency power off and battery start to change this you have to open again the settings and display and power button menu style this colorful calm and elegant were the options which used to which we used to have earlier but now we get classic or classical also see how it looks see it looks cool right so this was that now another feature and i think this is one of the most important feature and my favorite one this is re regarding the recent tab like let me open some tab and then i'll show you what is it about okay now see now as you can see that i have too many recent tabs open now if if i clear all then all of this will be cleared right like we used to have earlier but now if you want you can lock any particular item which you do not want to clear like if you like if, if i do not want to clear this youtube app so i have to click on click and hold this and here you can see many options here you can see many options app info split screen lock this task screenshot and share you can do all these functions like if you if i click on lock this task okay sorry i press the change like if i press this and i press on lock this task see this is locked now here it's saying unlock so if i clear all the apps see youtube app is not clear youtube app is still here now if i again you know press and open all these tabs again here you can see youtube app is still there and it will not be cleared if i clear it again okay so i think this is a very handy feature because if you want to clear your ram and if you want to clear other tabs but you want to save some tabs which you don't want to clear then you can use this function and you can use this 
to perform other functions as well like split screen if I, if I press on this split screen and I can use another app like the Chrome and see I can use the split screen function from here only and from here only I can do many other functions as well like app open app info take a screenshot like this or share okay like let me take a screenshot okay see so i think this is a very handy feature and a very nifty feature and a very important too okay the next change we are going to talk about is a little customization technique if you open settings then display and then press this style okay this sorry If you open settings then display and then click on this style sorry click on this style you will see three options this phone style you can change the phone style of the text of your phone there are only three options and I like the default one better okay then the second option is color see as you can see that the color here is green so you can change the color also see there are these many options available like uh, for example like this I like this one better okay so I click on apply and this color will be applied okay so the third option is sorry the third option is shape you can change the shape of these and the icons so there are only three options it's round and this and this one so there are only three options and I, I like this one better so okay another change which we have got is in the battery options we click on settings choose battery and here you can see battery care here you can see slow charging option if you turn this on your phone will charge very slowly and it will maintain your battery life as we know that when we when we rapid charge our phone then the condition of the battery you know it it damages the life of the battery so you can option you can turn this option on and this will save your battery life but you it will charge your phone very slowly and then here you can see there are three options of charging limit 80 90 and 100 percent so like if you select 90 percent then your phone will charge only up to 90 percent and it will not charge beyond 90 percent this will also save your battery life so friends these were the major changes that which we got after the android 11 update on the asus 6z so do let me know in the comment section if you like this video please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next one thank you